10 Ways to Say Part 2 The goal of this video is to teach you English phrases, not just individual English words, that you can use in many different situations. The phrases selected for this video are typical expressions used by native speakers. Sometimes I have included a small explanation about when to use the phrase or what exactly it means, also, some phrases are indicated as especially formal or informal. 10 Expressions About Age 1. She's in her early 20s. 20 to 23 years old. 2. He's in his late 30s. 37 to 39 years old. 3. She just turned 6. 4. Act your age. Use this when an adult is being immature, acting like a child. 5. I'm not as young as I used to be. 6. I'm not over the hill yet. Over the hill, an informal expression to say old. 7. He's no spring chicken. He's not young. 8. She's wise beyond her years. She is young, but she has the wisdom of an older person. 9. I'm having a senior moment. I'm being forgetful. 10. He lived to a ripe old age. A very old age. 10 Phrases for Shopping 1. Do you have? 2. Where can I find? 3. I'm just browsing. Browsing equals looking casually. 4. I'm looking for. 5. How much is this? 6. Is this on sale? 7. Can I try it on? Use this to ask if you can put on clothing to see if it's the right size. 8. I'll take it. 9. Do you take credit cards? 10. I'd like to return, exchange this. 10 Phrases for Talking About Food 1. I'm starving. I'm very hungry. 2. Let's grab a bite to eat. 3. How about eating out tonight? Eat out, eat at a restaurant. 4. I brought some snacks. 5. This soup is delicious. 6. Could I have another helping of potatoes? Another helping, another portion. 7. I'll have. Use this phrase for ordering in a restaurant. 8. Could we get the check, please? 9. I'm full. I'm satisfied. 10. I'm stuffed. I ate a lot, maybe too much. 10 Phrases for Talking About TV 1. Where's the remote? Remote control. 2. Is there anything good on? 3. Can I change the channel? 4. I've already seen this episode. 5. This is a rerun. Rerun, an old episode that was already shown on TV previously. 6. I love this show. 7. There are too many commercials. 8. Stop channel surfing. Channel surfing, changing the channel quickly. 9. Check the TV guide. The TV guide has the information about the TV programming and schedule. 10. It's the season finale. The final episode of the season. 10 phrases you'll hear in the airport. 1. Do you have any bags to check? 2. Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? Aisle. Corridor. 3. Here's your boarding pass. Boarding pass, the paper that permits you to enter the plane. 4. 
Your flight leaves from gate 15. 5. Your seat number is 8F. 6. Flight 800 is now boarding. Boarding, passengers can enter the plane. 7. Your flight has been delayed. 8. Your flight has been cancelled. 9. This is the final call for flight 800. 10. What is the purpose of your trip? 10 ways to talk about price. 1. It cost a fortune. 2. It cost an arm and a leg. 3. That's a rip-off. Overpriced, far more expensive than it should be. 4. I can't afford it. I don't have enough money to buy it. 5. That's a bit pricey. 6. That's quite reasonable. It's a good price. 7. It's 20% off. There's a 20% discount. 8. That's a good deal. A good value for the amount of money. 9. It was a real bargain. 10. It was dirt cheap. Extremely inexpensive. 10 ways to say you're tired. 1. I'm exhausted. 2. I'm dead tired. 3. I'm pooped. 4. I'm spent. 5. I'm beat. 6. I'm running on fumes. Slash I'm running on empty. 7. I can hardly keep my eyes open. 8. I'm off to bed. 9. I'm gonna hit the sack. Hit the sack, go to bed. 10. It's bedtime for me. 10 excuses for being late. 1. Sorry I'm late. 2. I overslept. I slept longer than I should have. 3. My alarm didn't go off. 4. I had to wait ages for a bus. Ages, a very long time. 5. The bus was late. 6. The traffic was terrible. 7. I couldn't find a parking spot. 8. I got lost coming here. 9. I was tied up in a meeting. Tied up, occupied, impossible to escape. 10. I just lost track of time. I didn't notice what time it was. 10 ways to avoid answering a question. 1. No comment. 2. I'm not at liberty to say. I don't have permission to give the information. 3. Wait and see. You will discover the answer later. 4. Let me get back to you. I will give you the answer later. 5. I'm sorry, that's confidential. 6. I'm sorry, that's personal. 7. I'd rather not talk about it. 8. It's none of your business. 9. Mind your own business. 10. Why do you want to know? Number 8 and number 9 are rather rude telling the other person to stop inquiring about your life. 10 Phrases for Talking About Statistics 1. The crime rate rose. 2. The crime rate went up. 3. There was a sharp increase in crime. Sharp, sudden, and large. 4. There was a gradual rise in crime. 5. There was a spike in crime. Spike, a sudden increase and then decrease. 6. The crime rate reached its peak. Peak, the highest point. 7. The crime rate plateaued. Plateaued, stayed at the same level. 8. 
there was a slight decrease in crime. 9. The crime rate dropped. 10. The crime rate plummeted. Decreased a lot, very quickly. Ten ways to say someone's talented. 1. She was born to dance. 2. He's a natural. 3. She could do it in her sleep. 4. He knows it inside out. 5. She knows New York like the back of her hand. 6. She's a walking encyclopedia of philosophy. 7. He's in a class of his own. 8. He's the best in the business. 9. She's very gifted. 10. He's a chemistry whiz. 10 Phrases for Telling Someone to Wait 1. Could you give me a minute? 2. Informal, hang on a second, just a second. 3. Hold on. 4. Let me see, think. 5. I'll be right with you. 6. Bear with me. 7. That'll have to wait. 8. Be patient. 9. Not so fast. 10. Hold your horses. Number 9 and number 10 are used for cautioning someone to wait and not make a bad decision or take reckless action. 10 Phrases for Estimating and Guessing 1. If I had to take a guess, I'd say. She's about 35 years old. 2. It's difficult to say, but I think. Our customers are more satisfied. 3. Off the top of my head, I'd say. The company has 500 employees. What I remember, estimate, without checking the actual statistics. 4. It's about 10 miles away. 5. It's around 3 hours long. 6. I wouldn't be surprised if Peter asks Jill to marry him. 7. There's a good chance it'll rain tomorrow. 8. I have a feeling, Hunch the boss won't be happy about this. Hunch an instinctive feeling. 9. I bet he'll be late. 10. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. 10 Phrases for Decisions 1. I'm debating between Option A and Option B 2. I can't make up my mind 3. I'm on the fence Equals I'm in the middle, I don't know what to decide 4. I'll take that into consideration 5. On the other hand 6. I'm having second thoughts. Equals I'm reconsidering my decision. 7. I changed my mind. 8. He convinced, persuaded me to. 9. Looking back, I know it was the right decision. 10. It's up to you. You can decide.